New tonight, how dirty is the water in the Alawai Canal? A University of Hawaii study finds that depends on how much it's rained. KITV4 Cynthia Yip reports on what causes the water to teem with pathogens. At the Alawai, members of Ikaika Hawaii train here every day in various water sports. Today, Coach Riley Hager is teaching this crew rowing. The Alawai is our home. We row here, we paddle here every single day of training. And we're a program for kids and parents are concerned. They ask us every day, is it safe? Are they going to be swimming in the Alawai? You know, isn't that dangerous? Is it dirty? It can be dirtier when it rains more, according to a new study by University of Hawaii professor Greg Stewart. The study finds that more the infectious bacterium Vibrio vulnificus in moderate rainfall. In fact, he says when conditions are right, the Alawai Canal can be a great incubator for it. When a convergence of unusually high abundance because of environmental factors and somebody who has uh, high risk because of underlying disease. Uh, when those things come together, that's when you tend to have these infections. In 2006, Professor Stewart first examined this bacterium when an Oahu man died from infection after his open wounds were exposed to Alawai Harbor water. I think the worst, worst possible conditions are when the water is warmest in the summer and you have sustained moderate rainfall. I'd love to hear more from the government and from people around us, like the scientists at, uh, at UH, to hear more about the bacteria levels and to hear how to connect with the ocean and maintain safe stewardship of the ocean and, and be a waterman in Hawaii. Professor Stewart says for most people, the bacteria exposure will not pose any major health risks. He says mainly people with chronic immune disease are more susceptible to developing serious illness. I wake up every day and I really want to share the ocean and, and the culture of Hawaiian watermen with the world and with the kids out here as well. So that's what we do at Ikaika and that's what we hope to continue to do out here on the Alawai. Two, three, Ikaika! Nice job. Cynthia Yip, KITV4 Island News.